Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and here we are in the results series and as promised in the previous one of the videos, I'm here to take up the practice problem of energy analysis in capillary rise and we spice it up with a situation where inside a capillary tube we insert a glass rod and let the liquid rise further and try to do the problem using the energy ideas okay and along with that please do stay till the end of the video I'll be giving you two more practice problems on the beautiful concept of surface tension one would be on the pressure analysis that we have not yet done we have done force now we are going to do energy and we'll round it out with the pressure analysis in the next video so please do stay back and also one more practice problem that i would reveal as we move along okay so let's go ahead with the problem statement that we'll start off with okay so here it is you want to do it with an unbiased mind and you're new to this particular problem please make sure that you pause the video read the question on your own try to read it word by word very clearly and attempt it for five to ten minutes and then do come back for the solution and the wholesome concept that we are going to explore in this video okay a sufficient long thin capillary tube of radius r is inserted vertically and held at rest into the water a constant height of water column exists in the tube now another solid glass cylindrical rod of radius half that is r by 2 is inserted symmetrically into the glass capillary water level in the capillary changes and attains a new fixed value in the process total change in the surface energy of glass water combination on introducing the rod in the capillary is x pi t square by rho g your job is to find the value of this x numerically Angle of contact is zero degrees and capital T and two small capital T uh, represent the surface tension of water air interface that is nothing but liquid gas interface and glass air interface which is nothing but the solid air or solid gas interface respectively. Rho represents the density of water and G is the acceleration due to gravity at that place. Neglect the water in the meniscus and also uh, further please do understand we are going to consider the situation where the capillary that we in initially inserted was at the near surface level of the water so not much is immersed okay so that would make our problem a much more practical one okay so try it out and do come back. So first of all, let's dive into the concept analysis of this particular problem and do it bit by bit. And then we'll again dive into the actual solution. Okay, so here it is. Let's try to define in the previous video, I've used a similar diagram. So in case you are new to this uh, channel uh, in the I button and in the description below, I have also produced the past videos on the surface tension concept relating to TSL, TLG and TSG resolved series video, uh, which explores the understanding of these things in terms of force related terms. Now we are going to highlight ourselves with the energy related understanding of these three interfacial tensions okay so right description link below or in the i button right if you want to watch that video and do come back please make sure you do that so let's go ahead so if i put up a situation of a drop on a glass plate or something like that you all know that the over a period of time this drop wants to spread on that glass surface okay right so it likes glass surface uh, adhesive force is bigger than the cohesive forces okay so while it spreads and stops and finally once it stops in the previous video we have already seen that this tlg TSL and TSG form an angle in this format theta, which is called the angle of contact or angle co contact angle, wherein if this small water element here, if you draw the free body diagram, then you end up getting the vector vector force in this direction and vector force in this direction balance out giving you the cos theta as this particular number since cos theta is less than one in a concept where the liquid spreads on a surface you will end up always having the tsg that is the solid gas interfacial tension less than the tlg plus tsl that's what you are going to end up getting in this particular manner okay right so uh, not only that, while it actually spreads, why does it spread? When it is spreading, you could see from this uh, initial situation to this final situation, the area of the LG and SL, that is liquid gas interface and solid liquid interface increases actually. And that's what it does, right? As it spreads, li more liquid touches the gas and more solid touches the liquid. Whereas the solid gas interface, you could see all these material points which were having solid gas interface are now absent there, right? So the ASG actually decreases. So if you do define this TSG multiplied by ASG as the required 
value of the surface tension energy that is u which is the energy is nothing but energy per unit area we define tsg as the surface energy per unit area associated with solid gas interface then in this particular product asg actually decreases so which means the usg value reduces whereas ulg and usl increases that's what happens during the energy analysis that this form of energy increases and this form of energy decreases but increase won't be equal to decrease because of this ideology you could see that this these inequalities ensure that this increase and decrease are not canceling out each other actually speaking this decrease would dominate this increase okay right you can make it out from the inequality that this decrease dominates the increase and that decrease will ensure that the heat is actually going to be released in the form of this difference okay that's why you end up having this particular drop uh, getting heated up this entire system gets heated up because of that decrease and increase difference okay so this is the energy analysis that you should know which i can apply even in the context of capillary rise okay so let's move forward now in the capillary rise as you could see initially let's say you put up a uh, capillary into the liquid and from this state to this state if i use energy analysis we could we have already done this in the past video using force now let's uh, understand and explore the energy idea as this liquid spreads on this solid the surface energy associated with the interface of liquid gas increases you could see the liquid was not touching this uh, gas surface right so the this entire thing is liquid gas this is entire liquid gas and this also is liquid gas you could see the gas is actually having some area which is flat nearly whereas by the time it reaches here the entire this part of liquid gas remains the same whereas this one gets gets curved this flat area here to this curved area this curved area is larger therefore the liquid gas interfacial energy increases this is very interesting well, that's a very small increase from pi r square area to 2 pi r square area it's a very small increase whereas liquid solid is a substantial increase you could see the liquid and solid here are not in touch whereas here a lot of it is in touch with each other therefore wherever that uh, that that interface develops we assume that the energy has developed okay so the liquid solid part increases so the two increases there there should be a decrease right and as i told you in the previous problem also the solid and gas were nicely touching here can you see all the solid and gas molecules formed an interface here that is absent here the solid gas interface energy decreases and i already told you that this decrease will dominate the sum of these two increases in this problem there is a small difference last time it was on a horizontal plate so the domination or the difference was only catering to the heat whereas in this context the domination or the decrease is reason for increase in two types of energies one is the gravitational potential energy and the second one is the heat released you could see the gravitational potential energy is also rising and the heat is also getting released okay so that it's a very important aspect that you need to understand and uh, you can't say the difference in energy here is only gravitational in nature it's some of the two okay right next move on so just to uh, acquaint yourself with the concept whether you have understood what i did in the capillary rise try to apply the same logic of energy idea in a capillary fall that means if you have a mercury and a glass rod you could see this glass rod is initially placed at this place and once you dip it in the mercury level falls this is also something very familiar to us so in this context take this as a practice problem number one the interfacial energy associated with from this context to this context what happened to liquid gas part is it increasing or decreasing liquid solid is it increasing or decreasing and solid gas is it increasing or decreasing just to try to comment and convince yourself using the free body diagram can you see if i zoom this part and draw the free body diagram of tsl tlg and tsg with angle theta obtuse uh, from that inequality you should be able to associate which of these three are increasing or decreasing try to write in your comment section below that uh, liquid uh, this has lg this has ls and this has sg by putting a hyphen and just comment as decrease increase and uh, increase um, so you should I, I i would be able to respond and i'll try to include this in our next video okay so let's move forward now calculating tsl from our question okay in the question if you go back and read it again very carefully right what are the surface tensions he has given capital t represents the liquid gas that means this t is tlg whereas 2t is the solid gas that is sg 
TSG is two T is given. He never gave TLG. You are supposed to use these two to calculate TLG, which is the most important surface tension. Remember, in capillary rise formula, it is TLG that we use, not these two. So using these two and this angle, you should be able to get the value of that. So that's what I did here, right? You could see from this three vector equations, you should be able to get cast cos theta is this. He's given theta is one, uh, sorry, theta is zero degrees. TSG has been given as 2T, TLG is T. From this analysis, you should be able to say so this, uh, the value of TSL comes out to be value of T. Okay, so let's let's go back and just check whether yeah liquid gas is given that is T okay and uh, solid gas is given as two T solid liquid is something that I have to calculate in this because of these two being given and this is one this also comes as capital T if any other numbers are given this is not capital T okay that right. keep it aside now back to our question. Imagine this, this just a lot of things are on the screen. Just follow my lead. I'll take you step by step. Just be patient and you would love this. Okay. So normal capillary tube, when you place it inside, there is, you could see outside liquid level, there would be a meniscus form exaggerated. I have done so that you can see everything. The height of the meniscus is always in our formula calculated from this bottom point and liquid in the meniscus here. Can you see here and here is neglected? Okay. Right. So in this, the capillary rise, you could see that this type of surface tension force, you would say is TLG multiplied by the perimeter of contact, which is 2 pi r, should be responsible for the mg of the liquid raised. Okay. So TLG into 2 pi r is therefore rho into pi r square h. This is a cylindrical volume into g. So H comes out to be 2 TLG divided by rho G R. Okay, right. And you further go ahead and calculate the solid liquid surface area. If you read the question carefully, he was interested in the solid liquid surface energy. What is the value? Surface area multiplied by the solid liquid TSL that you have to take. Okay, so this is 2 pi RH. I think no one will debate the surface area of contact of the solid and liquid is 2 pi RH. And TSL value we found out in the previous page as capital T. Okay, it was not given, we found out. So this into this with small h substituted for this and nice little multiplication gives you the initial value of that energy is 4 pi T square by rho G. Okay, so that's simple. Now, with the glass rod inserted, now you just in, in, in imagine there is a solid glass rod which is inserted symmetrically inside. This blue colored one is that. Liquid actually rises even further because the gap has been reduced. Okay, that new height, let's say I have taken it as capital H. What do you think is the shape of this meniscus? It, it's very difficult to imagine at least on a two dimensional board. But just to give you an idea, let me go to the next page to show you something very, very practical. Just imagine there is a cycle tire tube, a hollow cycle tire tube filled with air. Okay. Imagine the lower half of this. Just imagine in your mind, someone is taking a knife and cutting this off into two parts using a horizontal cut, not vertical cut, horizontal cut like this. Okay. Just let me uh, enlighten you. Just imagine there is a cut like this horizontal way. Okay, and then imagine the lower half of that cut, okay, lower half of the cut right around that would be the shape of this meniscus. Okay, right. It's like a tire, cycle tire, tire tube, but the lower half of it, half torus as we can call it. So for this part, which I take it out the perimeter of contact, there'll be two perimeters, one the inner one, which is pi 2 pi into r by 2 which i wrote as pi r because this is half radius and the outer one is the same as this one okay so that double forces should now lift it to new weight of the liquid this time which is given by this okay so this summation is this entire number mg is rho into the volume of this element i think you all will be able to calculate is the area of this surrounding part which is pi r square minus pi of r by 2 square or oh, r by 2 whole square into h capital h after all that effort will come out to be twice of this number after solving okay the new solid liquid surface area what is the new solid liquid surface area just be careful i think this time the solid su liquid surface area would be of two type two parts one is the outer solid liquid contact and the glass rod part also has a small contact area here right all around so what would that value be 
2 pi r into capital H for outer surface and pi r into capital H for the inner surface. Again, the same logic, meniscus height is developed or calculated up till this point. Okay, So TSL multiplied by 3 pi r h ensures you get a 12 times of pi t square by rho g by substituting capital H from the upper value. Okay, So the value of delta of this energy comes out to be 8 pi t square by rho g. A lot of students commit mistake by not reading the question carefully. And the question is designed in a such manner that you will get different types of numerical answers if you make conceptual errors. 8 is the correct answer. So just wait for the second practice problem. Let me go and mark the answer here. Need to have some patience. So the answer is 8. Okay, so let's move forward. So this is the practice problem I'll be taking in the next video. We have finished by now the surface tension analysis using uh, force uh, situations. Energy analysis is done. Next one would be the pressure analysis. Imagine I take up that cycle tire tube kind of a diagram, whatever I have got the meniscus there. Just below the meniscus point, let's call it as B. Therefore, there will be a pressure which is going to be different from the atmospheric pressure. If the upper point is at atmospheric pressure, the lower point would be having a pressure difference. We call that as gauge pressure. If the pressure is lesser than atmospheric, then the gauge pressure is negative. And if it is more than atmospheric, it is positive. Not only that, in terms of this small r and r by 2 that's given in the question, can you justify what's the value of the gauge pressure at B. I have given four options. Comment the answer below along with the practice problem one and I'll definitely take up the solution of this. Okay, And in that solution, I'll include the pressure analysis in general for different types of surfaces you encounter in JE Advanced. This one is called monoclastic surface. This is synclastic, which is the usual hemispherical meniscus where you'll have two radii of curvature and the anticlastic surfaces where the radii of curvature are in the opposite directions. Okay, It will be very interesting video analysis that we would be doing uh, to round up all the simple situations of surface tension. Okay, so I hope you will stay with me in that particular effort. And in case you have liked this video, please do explore the rest of the series. All the links of this series are in the description below. Try to play two or three videos per day. Try to comment what you want, whatever doubts you have. You might have seen I respond to 90% of the doubts whenever I'm free and I would love to hear from you. Okay, and in case you have liked this video, please do give it a like. Like the videos are pushed by the YouTube algorithm to more audience, hence uh, helping me grow my channel and get me more subscribers. In case you've loved this video, please make sure you share this content with your Telegram and WhatsApp groups you are part of and uh, request them on my behalf to come over to my channel and explore. Okay, so thanks for the confidence in me and see you in the next video.